everyone, it's Wednesday Warriors, and it's me, Ariel. And this week, I'm going to be talking about drawing, which is an interesting topic when you're thinking about eating disorder recovery or mental health or just general well-being. But listen up, because I think this will actually be pretty interesting. We are often unable to express something in words when we're feeling something. Sometimes we know what we feel, but we aren't able to explain it to someone else. And sometimes we know what we're feeling, but we can't even put it into words for ourselves. A journal just doesn't do justice to what we're feeling inside. And we can't really work through anything that we're feeling because we don't have a way to get it out and look at it. So that's where drawing comes in. And you don't have to be an artist or have any kind of real artistic talent in order to utilize this tool. It is used for therapeutic reasons. We've all heard of art therapy, but it's not just uh, mental health related. It can be about introspection and becoming self-aware and just doing little things to get to know yourself better and sort of see where you stand. So, Drawing your emotions can be very helpful. You can sort of try to picture what you're feeling inside. Sometimes it'll come out as a person or an item or something that you can draw that has a very tangible feel to it but other times it might just be marks or designs or some kind of creative flow on the paper try not to have any preconceived notions of what should be there on the paper in front of you just kind of let go and draw and see what comes out and see if it makes you feel better after it's done Sometimes it helps to draw things in our life that are connected to emotions, like your eating disorder. Try to draw your eating disorder. What does it look like? Does it look like a person? Does it look like an animal with claws? Does it look like a big black hole? Does it look like a bunch of colors that are drowning in something? There are so many different things that it could be when you just sit there in front of that paper and sometimes you don't even know what's going to come onto the paper until you start doing it. And that's kind of the beauty of doing a project like this. And sometimes maybe one day your eating disorder could look a certain way and Another day it looks like something different. Maybe sometimes your eating disorder looks very big on the paper. Sometimes it only fills up a small corner of the paper if your own healthy voice is very loud that day in that moment. So it can be interesting to maybe keep a drawing journal, but even journals aside, if you just take some time to just sit and doodle and draw and just go into it with the feeling of, I want to get out my emotions. I want to draw what I'm feeling and see what happens. You can draw a map of your mind, what's going on in there. You can draw a map of your day, of your current situation. See what comes out onto that paper to make things more clear, make things clearer for you. You can also just draw words. For example, you can draw the word anger. Maybe it will be very dark and bold and black. Maybe it'll be red and fiery. Maybe the letters will be very thick. Maybe it will fill up the entire paper. Sometimes you just have to get started. So let's draw. So let's draw. So let's draw.